Hello, my name's Dustin. I go by Limestone Picker here on YouTube. This is my friend, Jonathan Jernigan, and we are full-time resellers on eBay. So today, we're starting off at Madison Downtown Rescue Mission, as we do most days. But in Madison Downtown Rescue Mission, I got four games for $16. We got Starsky and Hutch on the Xbox. We got Green Day Rock Band on the PlayStation 3, Guitar Hero Smash Hits, and Guitar Hero 5. If you don't know, these are like sports games. Nobody wants to pick them up, but you can find the ones that are worth money. I think this one's probably worth like 10 or $15. I never see this one. It's got some good stuff on it. Uh, I would assume 10 or $15, and I think this one's around 15. Don't know how much this one's worth, but I think it might be worth something. I might be wrong, but I've never seen it before. So inside of the saving way, I spent $28 for $2 a piece. My mom's been bugging me about this movie, so I got her a copy of it. It's a, hear that? It works, hear that? You hear that? Hear that? Wait, you hear that? You hear it? Did you hear that? No. You didn't hear that? I hear that? They're still saying that. How about that? Sealed copy of Forrest Gump on Blu-ray. Got this Queen Days of Our Lives Blu-ray. My Neighbor Totoro. Thundercat Season 1, Book 1. Coraline Blu-ray. Highlander, 10th Anniversary DVD. Castle in the Sky. Mr. Beals Classics. Mermaids. The Labyrinth Blu-ray. Powerpuff Girls DVD. Nausicaa, is that how you say that? Yeah, sounds right. Nausicaa. <laughs> Ponyo. And another Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls DVD. What'd you get? Uh, for $2 a piece, I got the complete Battlefield collection. These are all PC games, except the last one. Uh, I got both left for deads individually they don't go for much but together you can get about 20 bucks for them and for myself i got for on the ps2 prince of persia the two thrones so i spent eight dollars so inside of lily flag goodwill i spent five dollars and 23 cents i got this it's not sealed but uh, it's from 1996 toy biz I didn't look it up. I figured I'd take a chance on it, but it was $3. I got DuckTales, High Flying. I got a, hear that? Anybody? It's a Blockbuster promotional six hour blank VHS. Um, guitar method in the style of ACDC, VHS, Clueless VHS, Billy Madison VHS, I got this for Josh, and if you don't know, keep an eye out for Mary-Kate and Ashley DVDs, they're, uh, they're normally around $10, this, this is a New York Minute, uh, the... I think I told it in the last video, uh, How the West Was Fun, that DVD's like $30. What'd you get? Well, I spent a dollar and I got this Gone with the Wind hi-fi stereo VHS set that I probably will just give to my mother because she loves Gone with the Wind. And I never get her anything. So inside of Walmart, 
I got two of these, Jimmy Johnson. They're the uh, Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt Sr. paint scheme from Darlington. I can sell one and make my money back and keep the other one. Alrighty, so inside of Second and Charles, I spent $28.87. The first thing I found was Masters of the Universe on DVD. I had this on VHS, but I don't want to hook up the VCR and watch it. So I got the DVD copy for $4.50. And then I got me and my little brother a Corey Taylor pop. Because he's my favorite member in Slipknot, and it's his favorite member in Slipknot. So I was really excited when they released these. Or the when they showed the preview to them. Second Charles is where I find a lot of pops that haven't come out yet. I think they're doing some shady business. 